Okay, back to a stock chart here. And uh, I've just got the tick volume indicator. And we look at the alerts for that. And there's only one condition for this particular indicator. Uh, there we go, just click on that, add the alert. And the, the alert that we've added here is for a high volume. So in other words, when the volume exceeds this uh, midpoint line that we create that works dynamically, then that will trigger a high volume alert for you, which you can have triggered in the usual way through the options or down at the bottom here through uh, the uh, SMS, email, whatever it is you wish to use. So that is the alert that we have on the volume indicator at present. This is tick volume on TradingView. Uh, we will look at adding others as we move forward. But for the time being, as I say, it is purely done on the volume exceeding this particular line here at the, uh, which is, if you like, the midpoint, the average of the volume over the 24 hour period. If you're not familiar with how to set up alerts on TradingView, all explained here in this article, which um, I've shown on, on several of the other videos as well. TradingView is a fantastic platform. It's great for, uh, and the reason we've created all these alerts is purely because it is browser-based. It works on pretty much any device you care to name. And obviously on mobile, it's a fantastic way to use it. And therefore you do need the alerts to really help you and just pull up those signals that you're looking for as they come in, I'm just uh, recording this. Um, and just to give you an idea of, of the, um, the flexibility of TradingView, I'm recording this on, uh, on a Mac. Uh, so I'm not on Windows, I'm on a Mac, browser-based, um, independent, works great. And this is just the start of, this is GE, General Electric, and uh, it's just the start of the, uh, the cash markets opening at 2.30 our time. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Uh, several more to come, so uh, on the alerts. So thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.